change in our, in our ball club at all, especially not in the personality. Uh, we were really the only guys that thought we had a, a very nice ball team from the start. Uh, we call out a negative uh, hype from the media or whatever, and but we, we felt like we had a good team and we're better than people thought we were. And our attitudes have been the same. Our plays improved as the year goes on. That's the only thing that's changed. It seems like there's been a nice maturing process going on, not only among the entire ball club, but you particularly. You had a difficult transition to make last year to third base. You played two different positions this year, but you seem to be very at home at both positions now. Is this an accurate appraisal of what's going on with you? I mean, I think I've made some improvements. Certainly, I feel more comfortable at third this year than I did last year, but uh, if you don't change, you don't get any better, you're not here for very long, so that's... The you know, Sparky's been outstanding with me and outstanding with Milt as well. He's handled us very well, and uh, we're getting better, and we're helping the ball club. Speaking of changes, it appears that you have made some changes at bat. Your average is coming up. Your RBI total is very good. Has there been a drastic change, or is it just that you're thinking more about going up the middle than yeah, you were earlier? I don't think there's not really any mechanical changes. It's more uh, mentally at the plate for me, uh, getting good pitches to hit, learning how to hit in certain situations, being more selective. Uh, got a horrendous number of strikeouts this year which is something I'll be working on next year but uh, as young players it's tough to be disciplined hitters so uh, that's why Frank Thomas is such an outstanding player he's kind of an exception to the rule this ball club has some youth on it but it doesn't seem to have changed at all as far as the poise is concerned now that you are definitely in the race is this because of the personalities that are involved or because of the veterans that are here to kind of help you guys along I think it's a combination of the two uh, this is a great club for a young ball player to be on. Uh, if you're coming into the big leagues, you don't think you can ask for a better club. You've got Dave Bergman, Alan Trammell, you know, Lou Whitaker, Mickey Tettleton, Rob Deere, Pete Inc. I mean, you could go, the list goes on of guys that have been around the league for a few years and older veterans too that know how to play the game, know how to handle the ups and downs, and consequently help the young players. And they're very, very outspoken when it comes to helping young guys. They're not uh, stingy with their advice at all. Travis, we appreciate your time. It's been fun watching you play and develop. Good luck to you down the street. Thank you very much. Travis Fryman of the Tigers. Now, Marty, back to you. Unrian knocked in three RBIs. Go to the fifth, Travis Fryman. He leads off with a solo shot. Yep, that's right, off Roger Dodger again. This is home run number 21 for Fryman. Another big night for him. And all Roger can do is uh, get the clay. Question beg. The 91 surprise, Travis Fryman? I didn't think there would be that many guys left on base, to be honest with you. By the time our guys got done hitting, and I was kind of later in the lineup, I really didn't think there had, had that many opportunities. But it worked out last year to where I did, so I was very fortunate to, to drive in some of those guys. But uh, this year, you know, I kind of hope, to, you know, everybody hope we're a little more even, even killed this year. In an era of specialization in sports, the Tigers are truly lucky to have a player with the versatility of Tony.